Hey guys, welcome to the 2017 MCAT preparation, Merit or Excellence questions. This is question 32 in this series. Today's question is uh, something very similar from 2016 exam paper. So what I would ask you guys is to pause the video and have a go at this question by yourself. Okay, <clears throat> I'm assuming you've had a chance to actually have a go at this question. Basically, what you're asked to find is you know, you got to solve for x. Now, I know we've done similar, I think we've actually done a lot harder, more challenging question than this particular one. I think this is video number two, or well, video number two, I think it was Merit and Excellence question number two. Oh, it's somewhere there, have a look anyway. Anyway, so what are we going to do? We need to get rid of the 16 first to rewrite um, this all of the numbers in basis of two. As usual, guys, be very careful. Sometimes I always see people do this. 16 times 2 is 32x equals 2 to the power of 3x plus 2. If you do that as your first step, as usual, I say you are incorrect. <clears throat> so what we do need to do is write, rewrite 16 as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x, and that equals 2 to the power of 3x plus 2. So from here, we know that when we multiply two numbers with the same basis, the powers get added. So we're going to get 2 to the power of 4 plus x equals 2 to the power of 3x plus 2. So at this point, because the two bases are the same, we can now say that this 4 plus x equals to 3x plus 2. All right? Because if you think about it, 2 to the power of whatever this number in this blue box should equal 2 to the power of whatever this number in the blue box is. So we can actually say 4 plus x equals 3x plus 2. So rearranging this, we're going to get 4. Uh, the 2, when it comes over to this side, it becomes minus. Equals 3x, and then plus x when it comes to this side becomes minus x. And so what we have is 2 equals to 2x. Divide both sides by 2, and what we end up with is x equals to 2. Okay, and I guess we're just going to write it down at the end that x equals to 2. And that's basically it for this question, guys. Uh, any questions, pop it in the comments below. Uh, tune in later for another question, and as usual, uh, subscribe and feel free to pass this on to your classmates as well. Alright, that's it for this little video. Thank you for watching.